Yeah, it's true. Are you excited? Beach day. <gasps> Beach day. Beach day. Have you been to the beach before, Theo? What's a beach? Hey. Sounds fun, though. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Chevy, excited? you gonna hold down the fort with Diesel, right? Diesel, wiener's in charge. What? You're putting me in charge? Wow. Well, okay. Naps for everyone. Naps are on the house. If there's any food, it goes to wiener. Absolutely. There's two rules. Yeah. Just in case someone decides to get messy in the seat. Uh oh. Just in case. So we're filming this on a Sunday. It's supposed to be a pretty decent day outside. It's supposed to be not too hot. We're headed out to Falcon Beach, which is near the Ontario border with Manitoba. I go past it every time on the way to Kenora. Still it's on this side of the border, it's on in Manitoba. But we Rick did the research of all the different beaches around Manitoba, this Grand Beach of St. Mal, Falcon Lake, Birds Hill. And Falcon Lake was one of the beaches that had the green, what was the green? Go one? ahead, the clean water quality. Okay, what did, what's the bad water quality? Uh, like swimmer's itch and blue-green algae and stuff like that. I didn't want him to be exposed to any of that stuff, so I checked, uh, there's an app called, uh, shoot, what is it, Safe Swim or something like that? But it doesn't compute with my phone because my phone's too new. Apparently it's an old app, so I just went to the website. Something like Safe Swim or something like that. Okay, and you have to be very careful in the lakes that you go because that blue-green algae can actually be very, very bad. It can make you very sick and it can kill your dog. We have friends that brought their dog to the beach. Unfortunately, their dog didn't make it after, I guess, ingesting some of the blue-green algae. Uh, I can soak in through your skin too. Soak in through your skin, so you don't even have to ingest it. Oh my! So it's it's pretty serious, scary stuff. I don't know why there's not more awareness to it because I had no idea what it was until that happened to our friend's dog, and they didn't know either. They didn't know either. Totally innocent mistake. Yeah. So now when you go to the beach, just make sure you check to make sure all the water is safe, especially if you got a little one or if you got dogs. You want to look for blue green algae and swimmers itch. And There's is there lots anything of else? Things. Lots yeah. of different things? Those are just the two most common. Okay, well you can't live in complete fear because there's always going to be something in the water. But uh, those are the ones that are, you got to make your line somewhere, right? You got to make that red line and that's ours. And Falcon Lake has clean water. So we're headed that way. It's about a two hour, not quite a two hour, hour and a half drive from here. So you're going to be staying at home, Chevy, okay? Okay, even though they say the water is safe for dogs, Still a little bit nervous. We're gonna leave you here. Yeah. You'll yeah. be fine. We'll just be there a couple of hours. So. Oh yeah, we have a baby. We're not gonna be yeah. long. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's head her. I'm all packed. Got my shades. Perfect Perf fit. Wiener thinks he's coming. Wiener, no. All right, let's go. I'll get my water wings. Vitamins. <laughs> it's over here, one sec, one He does sec. have a life jacket. <laughs> he does. Here we go. Here we go. Excited? Are you excited for the beach? Are we going to have fun? We're going to go swimming. Mom and Dad bought you a new UV tent and oh, yeah. a floating device. All the fancy stuff. All the fancy stuff. All the fancy stuff. All the other babies are going to be so jealous.
Got the loser cruiser here in Falcon Lake. <laughs> That's awesome. Can I have one? Of course. I would totally let you drive that around. But only if your license plate said dropout like his. <laughs> That's awesome. Help save a bus on the back. Old school. That's so cool. This is the Falcon Lake Campground. We have to get a park pass because it's a provincial park. So Britt went into the office over there. We think this is where we need to get it. Now this is the life. I would love to be here camping. That's awesome. It's a lot of work to set up a trailer all the time. So if you do go camping, I'd, I always like staying for like a whole a whole week at least. Right. Speaking of which, our camper comes back tomorrow after our first rental. So. Hopefully it goes well. I hope they're having a good time. We haven't heard anything from them this whole weekend, and we said to get a hold of us if there's any problems. So, assuming there's no problems, we got our camper back tomorrow, and we already have our second booking uh, the following weekend. So, it's bookings are filling up. It's good to be able to help people get out and have fun like this. Great deal. Well, that looks fun. <laughs> Are you ready? He's set. That's Brent. Right over there. The water is really nice. <laughs> Isn't it? Even you were in the water. Yeah! That is a delicious towel. I wish I could have one just like that. That looks delicious. <laughs> this is our UV tent. We just got it this year. Sort of like a tent you'd go camping in, um, but it's not for camping. <laughs> it's just to block the UV rays for this little guy. <laughs> you can rent jet skis here. Maybe one day we'll rent one. Look at those lake houses across the lake again. Hey? One day. One day, Theo. <laughs> yep. One day I'm gonna have one, and then one day it's gonna be yours. Yeah. I'll do everything I can. We're gonna get one of those. I might be older, but you'll get to enjoy it your whole life. Most of it. My grandkids will, anyway. I wanna give something like that down to them. I mean, this tent is pretty cool, eh? You can do up the sides, like that one, and that one. You can do up the front here as well. It keeps everybody safe. <laughs> and comfortable. We can sit out here on the beach and... Sort of lounge in comfort, right? Got quite a bit of room in here. Here she comes. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> You're in a good mood now. How was it? Refreshing. Yeah. Very, very refreshing. Hi. Hi. Uh, I think it's my turn. I think it's daddy's turn. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that beach bum in there. <laughs> so yeah, this is Falcon Lake Beach. Or just Falcon Beach. Got campgrounds here. It is a provincial park, so you have to have a park pass. Which costs us, I think, like nine bucks. Under ten. Is under ten bucks? under ten bucks. Used to be five bucks. But you know how it is. <laughs> So this UV tent is from Bracemaster. Not doing an ad for them or anything, but if you're wondering uh, where we got ours, it was on Amazon, right? Yep. And six it was person. it's a six-person, and you said what, 160 bucks or something? Uh, I'll have to look that 
up, but it was under 200 for sure. Under 200. You can just find it on Amazon. It's not a tent for sleeping in. It's a, it's a beach tent. It works really good. So like I was saying before, you can rent boats here, you can rent jet skis here. You guys are all into the alien craze, like everybody seems to be nowadays. Falcon Lake might ring some bells for you. I think it was in the 80s we had uh, a UFO land nearby here. It was actually a pretty convincing story. It's one of those ones that they can't debunk yet. There was a, a guy who came across it and he got hit with some kind of radiation ray from it and he actually had radiation burns all across his body. He got rushed from around the lake here into Winnipeg at the Health Science Center. It's crazy, you guys should look it up. Uh, Falcon Lake UFO. 1967. That's when it was, 1967. Yeah. Oh, that happened right around here. We have our own alien stories too. You see, aliens don't just land in the United States. We have our own aliens too. What's going on there? I was too loud. Oh. I woke him up. You woke up the beach bum. It's time to go. So, successful beach day? Successful beach day. I only wish we would have gotten here a little sooner for a little more of the sunshine, but that's okay. It was a great first round with, with Theo. What do you think, bud? You want to get moving, don't you? It sure does. We had a quick emergency. A there. skeeter flew into the back. Had to protect our son. A demon. Mama blood. sprung into action. Yeah. Blood sucking demon. It's true, they suck your blood. They're like little tiny little vampires flying around. All right, Theo, we're moving. We're moving. Let's go home. Gotta get out of here without anybody hitting us. I trust my abilities. I don't trust everyone else. Leaving the beach, we've seen some not very bright people. Yeah, I was, I'm just <laughs> how did they get here? <laughs> Somehow they survived, and all their children. <laughs> okay. So this was, yeah, like I was saying, Falcon Lake in southeastern Manitoba, like right by the Ontario border. What do you think? It's, this a, is our, it's a great place. It's our second time coming here, right? Yeah, I think I've been here as a kid too. I don't think I ever went camping here, but I think I've visited here. I like gone to the beach before. You got everything. It's like a little town in here. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people that live their entire summers here. Actually, I think some people live the winters here too. Yeah, I think there's a year-round community here because they have an RCMP station and everything. Yeah. yeah there's some nice little houses around. Oh yeah, right down there. Year-round cabins mm -hmm. or houses, I guess that would be them. Campsites, cabins, cottages across the lake. Hence the shirt. I haven't found a palm tree yet, but I'll keep looking. <laughs> I won't give up hope.
bedtime routine. You got Diesel here guarding the entrance to the room. Every time. Really? Every night we come in here and we give Theo his last bottle of the day, read him a story, and Diesel comes in here, points straight at the door, and doesn't leave until we're done. <laughs> he loves story time. Yeah, and he's very protective. That's the one entrance in and out of the room. Britt was saying even when I'm not here. Every and he's night. playing in here, whether in his jumper or on the, floor. on the floor. If Theo's in this room, Diesel comes and lays down just like this, pointed at the door. Right, Chevy? He's a well-protected <laughs> baby. He sure is. Did someone have an accident? One of our little guys just had an accident and I just cleaned it up. Chevy was very concerned. He came in here to wrap them up. <laughs> Don't be mad. Somebody made him. It wasn't me. I wonder uh, who it was. I wonder. <laughs> it wasn't me. Definitely wasn't you. Yours are way bigger than that, Chevy. We know that. <laughs> Gotta let this guy get quiet now. Get sleepy, sleepy. Thank you.